Yeah, I'm like, don't record this part. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm already on it. So. What episode are we on right now? I have no idea. 27. How did you not know this? That's what I would have guessed, but I wasn't confident. 1927 Yankees, Murderer's Row. <laughs> <laughs> like Vicky will get a baseball reference. <laughs> I was just thinking more about, I remember 27, but that I, was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying you're old? Yes, I'm admitting the Newsflash. <laughs> yes, I'm old. I can take it. Get him a certified Actually, I was advisor. I had this conversation with, with Stacey Nichols yesterday. Yay! And I like Stacey. I, I love Stacey. And I admitted that even though I was kind of, you know, freaking out about turning 40 and is it really 40s have started I, off pretty good. I thought you I, were already 40. I turned 40 in May. Oh, okay. Yes. And I can say this and I'm not crying. And I can say it publicly. I'm okay with this. But my 40s have started off really good. And I actually finally feel like I know what I want to be when I grow up. So What's that? I'm headed in the right direction. I'm, I'm really okay. excited, actually. In my 40s? <laughs> yeah. I said I know. I didn't say I'm there yet. Oh, you're not going to tell us? You're not going to share the exclusives? But, um, no, we have other things to talk about today. Yes, we, we do have we other do. things we, to talk we about. We have a top 10 list. So get them our certified advisor, Mitch Taylor. And... Certified personality trainer, Vicki Musney. We are here for Creating Connections Podcast, episode 26. And there are big things coming with this podcast. 27. 27, sorry. <laughs> 27. She's, she's right. Can we say it again? Yes. <laughs> You're right. Sorry, what was that? <laughs> so we have some big things coming with the podcast that even Vicki doesn't know about. I've been warned that there are changes on the horizon. Yes, there are changes on the horizon. And so stay tuned for that and just click subscribe below or somewhere here, click subscribe and you'll be able to uh, find out all the latest happenings and changes with the Creating Connections podcast. Episode 27. So today we've got uh, a top 10 list, right? Top 10. Yes. So well, technically two top five lists. If you yeah, want to be honest. I've, I've got my top five list. Vicky's got her top five list. So that's what we're going to go with today. There we go. And top five things we learned from the Las Vegas DJ show. We're recapping the Las Vegas DJ show here today. Just wrapped up in Las Vegas, Nevada. And yes, if you're Nevada, whatever, Nevada, Nevada, they say it right. Thanks Nevada. Me. Yes. Okay. It's my state. It's, say it, it right. It is your state, but you're like Reno. That's like, you know, the pimple of California. Las Vegas should be its own separate state, really, in, in my opinion. But it's, it's the pimple of California. It's like right there. It's right on the edge. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm 10 miles from the California border. That's what I'm saying. See? So you know how sometimes at the conferences uh, you hear oh, all, the, all the learnings in the hallways? Well, that's great. And I get that. And we have actually have more nuggets here coming up that are actually from the seminars. So the vast majority of the the, what I took away, my top five, is going to be from the seminars themselves. But this one was from our Creating Connections booth, actually, on the show floor, where uh, a guy named Jason Perry, who I don't think I'd met before, from Denver, Colorado. I took a picture of him, and I jotted down on my iPhone real quick this quote that he gave me, uh, which was, you're never more nervous than when you are trying to make a sale. Very interesting. That can be an article. That can be a a whole podcast that can be a seminar for crying out loud. Uh, Don't say a book. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's probably not enough for a book, but it certainly is enough for an article and it certainly is enough for a podcast and maybe sure. even enough for a seminar or at least part of a seminar. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I thought that was so great. You, you know me and I know yourself as well. Uh, we're all about workshops and learning and becoming better. But what if you could not be nervous? in the sales process and what That's was huge. what was it what was it you said earlier you said something about uh what if you were not focused on making the sale yeah then maybe you would be less nervous if you could shift your perspective and take that i think we put pressure on ourselves when you go into a meeting i've got to make this sale Absolutely. that shifts the way you focus 
and it undermines what you're trying to accomplish. Well, I, I go back to the whole Chris Farley thing. And the, you ever seen the movie? Uh, uh, what movie is that? Chris Farley and David Spade, uh, Tommy Boy, right? Where Chris Farley's got the a pretty little pat. He's my little pat. He's he, he got that, that roll at the diner, you know. <laughs> it's my sale. Oh. It's my pretty little pat. <laughs> That's not my favorite movie. <laughs> I love that movie. That movie's so awesome. And it's uh. it, talking about sales. That movie's great yeah. talking about sales. So can't be nervous. Uh, see me at MitchTaylor.net. See Vicky at VickyMosney.com for opportunities for workshops where you can help not be nervous. That's really not a great way to say that. <laughs> where, you, <laughs> no. where you can strive to not be nervous in the sales process. Vicki, what's where your you number five? you to gain confidence in the yes, sales process. That's what I meant right You're there. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I have to back up though, because I think when I first said to you, hey, put together a top five. Yeah. We're going to do a top 10 list. Yeah. I didn't get very specific. And maybe this is just, you know, your red side showing and, and, and me being a little more yellow. Yeah. My red. <laughs> I, I wore red. I wore red for you today. Did you? Thank I you. Did. But mine aren't actually as specific. For me, it was more like my top five experiences. Her yellow's coming through. Yeah, it's just me being a yellow. Um, so the first one I want to talk about wasn't any one particular nugget, but okay. just in general, Breakfast of the Game Master made my list. And and you know what a, what a morning person I am and how much I love waking up early, especially when I'm traveling and, and when I'm in Vegas. It's in your same time zone. Yes, it is my same time zone, but Vegas is its own time zone, I mean, in reality. I can't wait for you to come just, to Albany. <laughs> That's going to be awesome. Yeah. You're in my time zone. <laughs> yes, it'll be fun. But I just appreciate having the opportunity, having somebody that's worth waking up to go listen to someone who is inspiring and educational and just genuine. Yeah. And um, I just, I really look forward to those. I mean, I'll, you know, I was up at six o'clock every morning. To Me you know, too. be up and dressed and and over over there, um, hanging out even a few minutes before it started. Yeah. Scott and I just Scott's amazing. I, yeah, I love Scott. Yeah, I, I, Scott was one of the very first experiences I had at a DJ conference when I was trying to get my business off the ground uh, back in 2005, and I got to have a breakfast with the game master at the Northern Disc Jockey Conference back in 05. I think it was 05, 06, mm -hmm. somewhere in that ballpark. And man, the, the to see the freely given knowledge that Scott gave, yes. I, I, there's forms that he that I bought. I shouldn't say he gave. He did give a lot at that at that breakfast too. Don't get me wrong. He does give a lot, and I don't fault him at all for having a few things. For oh, absolutely sale. not. In fact, because Scott, I mean, your I mean, your stuff is, is underpriced, amazing. buddy. I'm just telling you, your stuff is underpriced for what the value is there. Yeah. But Scott is a man I've looked up to for many years. I appreciate him as a friend, as a colleague. He's an amazing guy and someone who truly does give back to the industry. And so thank you, Scott, and Breakfast of the Game and Master. And there's something about him and the way he does those breakfasts where he provides those nuggets and those ideas and core business concepts yes. as well as games. Some people are like, well, I don't go because I don't play games. So what? Go and just watch the way he interacts with people, yes. yeah. the way he talks to people, the way he connects people. I mean, there's just so many layers of what you can learn from spending time there. Not yeah. to mention all of the other people that are like-minded and waking up early in Vegas to go be inspired, encouraged, Absolutely. and educated. You know, so that that to me was. Um, that definitely was, was on my list. Okay, okay number, what's your next one? Number four for me is something we need to put on our laptops right now. If you didn't get this nugget from Las Vegas DJ Show, if you weren't able to attend the show, I'm giving this to you for free right now, courtesy of my friend Andy Ebon, and that is rescuetime.com. You can add this to your office computers. This is from Andy's seminar, David versus Goliath, which was actually a great seminar, but to help us not fall into the black hole that is social media and get mm -hmm. caught up in the absolute time suck <laughs> that is the internet sometimes. Rescuetime.com will help you monitor how you spend your time on the web. 
So thank you, Andy, for that nugget. And I'll be putting that here on our laptops very, very soon. That kind of scares me a little bit. I'll be honest. Time's up. Next. <laughs> um, you alluded to this earlier and you pulled away one specific, one specific quote, but I think my favorite part about the shows and, and I love connecting like this. I love that we Skype every week that, you know, we talk text, Facebook, whatever, and, and all my colleagues from all over the country, but there's no, no substitute for being in the same city, in the same location right. as those people that you only get to see once or twice a year. Yeah. And I don't know, to me, this, this trip felt like a really fun balance of catching up with old friends and meeting people that I didn't know before. And maybe that's because I started my, my trip with a, a Sunday workshop mm -hmm. and I had four hours to spend with people that were there to have the workshop experience. Mm -hmm. um, some of them, it was their first show. Some of them, it was their first workshop. Um, I mean, I sat with Brett, who works for uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, yeah, who has been working for him for, what, almost three months? Yeah, he's and this super was his new. second workshop, and I'm like, I know. wow. Yeah. Yeah. Jer so, Jeremy so Breck is a rock star in our industry, and you'd be well off to follow his company, Sioux Falls DJ Jer, and check out what he's doing. Jeremy's doing amazing, amazing things. Yes. I get to hang out with him next week, too, when we're back in Vegas. Oh, for Wedding MBA? Yes. Yeah, I'm bummed. Yeah. I, I'm but yeah, I know. Next can't year. Can't make it. Can't next make year. it. So I'm doing... But uh, yeah, those, those, those coffees, um, the lunches. I mean, people talk about the hallway chat, but I want more. And I love when I'm in the conversation in the hallway, and it's like, hey, we've got 20 minutes till the next seminar. Come grab a coffee with me. Yeah. Or, you know, hey, after, you know, this show, let's go get a drink. Or let's, you know, what time are you having breakfast? Yeah. And I had a chance to sit down with Jody Harris over breakfast one I morning. I love Jody. I do, too. And it's just, I don't know. And us, us girls, we have to stick together. But Hashtag you girl boss. Another person, <laughs> another person in the industry who just has so much yeah. incredible experience. And it's just a really great, genuine person. Awesome. I mean, I just... There is no substitute for, in my mind, for for those just those one on ones, um, the small groups. I mean, yeah, the dinner of thirty five was a blast, but I tried sure. to make sure that I got up and I moved around, and uh, and had as many one on one conversations as I could. So well, it, yeah, it's I tough when you get a dinner for thirty five people, and we got that organized. It was a great dinner, don't get me wrong, but it's just tough sometimes to connect when you just. Well, got my favorite moment from that dinner was when I happened to step out to take a phone call. About the same time that Bill did, and I got a little fifteen-minute, you know, impromptu coaching session from Bill Herman <laughs> while we were <laughs> both trying to tell our kids good night yeah, before they Bill, had time zone. Bill issues. can do that to you, absolutely. And, uh, and I just I love that, but you have to go with the mindset of being open. Yeah, you have to be yeah. willing to say, you know, hey, are you free? Or hey, can I join you? Or and you, some of that is stepping out of your comfort zone. I mean, absolutely. I hung out with a lot of people I knew. But four years ago, I didn't know any of those people when I first started coming to the show. Yep. So, yep. you know, and there are people that I met this time that I hope become those yeah. lifelong friends. All right, so number three for me has got to be Andy Ebon again, believe it or not, from <laughs> David versus wow. Goliath. I know, right? Andy scores two on my top five list, which is awesome. He's a very, very knowledgeable man. Well, and I love this one. This one really speaks to me. And, and the, what he gave for a, a example could be for anything, honestly. But it's what's your because for why the venue refers you? Mm -hmm. Now, if you think about it, that's pretty deep. You could go very superficial with that layer if you want to. But then you could dig, you know, even more layers deep to get down for from sure. the superficial to all the way to the bottom of what's the true reason why what's your because of why not only the venue but any other wedding pro or event pro would refer you even a past client even a past <laughs> client it digs into what's your usp as well which i think yeah again is important to understand what's your number three well, that's just a good way of, of phrasing that conversation okay my my next one my it was this was was this very specific moment where <laughs> One of, one of my industry heroes came up to me and told me that he texted his staff during my seminar like a nugget. And I'm sitting there going, 
Mike Walter learned something from my seminar, like that he was so excited about that he texted his staff nice. right there while I was talking. Nice. And I have to be honest, like that just totally, totally made my day. And I appreciate that about so many of the people whose seminars I go to listen to, because I do, I play a dual role when I'm speaking mm -hmm. at a conference. I never speak and leave. I always try to attend as many other sessions as I can. I take copious notes. I, I put on my student hat and, and I'm there to learn. Absolutely. And I love that, that even someone that I have looked up to for so long, like Mike, could say, hey, I heard something new in your seminar that I wasn't doing and I want my staff to do this. And, um, and that was that. So was what was the cool nugget? For me. I don't know if I should tell that nugget on this episode or not. All right. We don't have to. <laughs> I'll think about it. All right. Got to give Mike's staff a head start to start implementing it, nice. you know. <laughs> let's let's jump right through. Let's we talked okay. we talked about you know banging through this in one episode. We talked about just giving it in two. We'll come back and we'll do more detail on some of them later. That's fine. What's your next one? So my next one is from my girl, my girl, Shaney Barnett. Shaney is a rock star DJ, She's female amazing. MC from Chicago. Man, did she she killed it opening night. She did amazing with her presentation. But again, one of her nuggets I loved was being interactive doesn't mean you always have to be on the dance floor. Because oftentimes we think about, oh, the interactive DJ, the interactive DJ, they're all, well, this is going to be a dance game seminar. I'm not going to that. What do I need to know about that? You know? And the reality is that exactly what she said, being interactive doesn't mean you always have to be on the dance floor. Mm -hmm. Loved it. There are lots of ways to interact. Yeah. Loved it. Oh, and she's got a great, just her persona and the way she presented. Yeah, she was fantastic. It, what, the other nugget I loved about Shaney that I think anyone can view, pick up, and should absolutely work on is something we already touched upon earlier a little bit in regards to my number five on the nervous thing. But Shaney has that inner confidence. And mm -hmm. one of her shirts that she has, one of her promo pieces, one of her headshots, you know, is uh, your swagger sucks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it. I love that. And that's just Shady, man. That's her <laughs> inner confidence that she's the rock star. She's the woman that's going to get this party going. She's the one that's going to put asses in the dance floors or butts in the seats, whatever, um, and get people up and moving and, and into a party yeah. mood. And Man, she, she killed it. She absolutely killed it. That's cool. Love Shaney. Yeah. Um, my next one was listening to Darnielle. Okay. I did not know a whole lot about her going into it. Um, and I, she just, she had me from the beginning of her seminar. And again, I'm always seeing things twofold. I'm looking at it more than two, really. How can I apply what she's teaching to my business? But also, what can I learn from her? And in her style, the way she presents, the way she interacts with the audience. And it's not that anything she said was particularly life-changing. and But it's just the way she presented it and the way she makes go, oh, yeah, I can do that. Or, oh, yeah, that makes sense. You know, and she has this way of speaking in, like, bumper stickers. Okay. And, uh, and so things that I'm going to, you know, make into memes and, and probably print out and hang above my, above my desk, just as these reminders that this is how, you know, this is how I need to be, be thinking. And I actually posted on our uh, sales for event pros page, okay, cool. my notes from her seminars. If you want to see some of those specific nuggets and those, those bumper star bumper sticker quotes yeah. that I took away from that, um, go for it. But she was the first person and I hear a lot of speakers a lot of coaches. She's also a member of the National Speakers Association mm -hmm. and is friends with the mentor who kind of sponsored me into that group. And um, another really incredible woman, Lethia Owens from St. Okay. Louis, who I just really love and respect. But I just, I don't know. I, I, there was just something about the way she, she presented it that I walked away and I called my husband and I said, she's the one I want to hire that I want to do coaching with. And, um, and I've heard other, a lot of great speakers, a lot of great coaches. I love workshops, sure. I love seminars, but I've never gone and said, she's, she's the one I, right. I want to work with her. Granted, it'll be a little bit until I do, 
Um, meanwhile, I get to live vicariously through Stacey Nichols, who just signed up yesterday to do her 12 month coaching program. Nice. So we're stoked that Stacey gets to do that because she's going to be focusing on it for her DJ business. And honestly, I'm looking at hiring her to coach me primarily on one of my other businesses, yep. which I'm sure everything she teaches me will bleed over into sure. you know, different facets of my life. But it'd be really fun to see what Stacy learns from her over the next 12 months and what that does to her, her DJ business. And, um, and then hopefully by this time next year, I'll have my own yeah, success stories to report back from I'm very her. Bummed she was the highlight. I'm very bummed that I didn't get a chance to see Danielle. Uh, I was setting up for my own workshop yeah, it was at the same a time. time thing for your workshop, yeah. So that sucked point blank that I had to set up I'll for my own workshop. I'll share all my notes with you. Uh, during her thing. However, I did reach out to Darnielle. I did order a copy of her book. Good. And I have a coaching session, a quick 15 minute coaching call set up with her. Just like an introductory thing. Set Good. up with her already for, uh, I think a couple weeks from now. So. Good. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's amazing. I've been bringing her book to the gym with me ever since I got back from the trip. And, uh, and she and I have been Facebooking almost every day. How so. do you work out and read at the same time? I, I don't get how okay, you... When I'm, doing, when I'm doing an audio book... Oh, now like, you said you If I'm you doing a paperback book. book, I just do it when I'm on the bike. That's, that's it. If I'm, if I'm on a bike. How so I, yeah. I can't bike and flip at the same time. I just... I, yeah, it works for me. Audio book, though, I'll do, you know, the treadmill, the elliptical, whatever. Yeah. Um, but this case, it's paperback book, and I have a pen. My my underlining and my notes are pretty sloppy, but I can read them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what, and we're at number one right now, aren't we? For each one of yes. us. Yes. Okay, so num yep. number one for me was from Mike Walter, twenty five songs and ten thousand hours seminar, and I love the word that he used here. It was from that the movie he quoted. Uh, yes. The quote was "ensconce yourself." Pay your dues, make your living from it. That's why it's called a music business. I went back and I watched that quote, that that that, that clip on yeah. YouTube again since I've been home. Yeah. Ensconce yourself. Mm -hmm. What a great word. I, I just yeah, I, I think that I can just go to one conference or one read one right. book or take one class. And, uh, and, and boom, I'm in and I'm going to be successful. And they don't realize, yeah, that, that, that word is first perfect because it's a process and it takes a long time and it ha you have to be intentional and you have to surround yourself with the kind of people that are going to help you grow and, you have and become to, you want to be. You have to fully commit. You mm -hmm. can't get wet from just one, way, one raindrop. You can't. And, and so it's just like the immerse yourself into the process, ensconce yourself into your business and you'll go farther. It's, it's, you know, whatever area you're struggling in, again, immerse yourself in that or coach, hire someone, I should say, to take that over for you, but immerse yourself in the facets that you want to get better in. I just, man, I can't, that quote to me was huge and, Mike knocked out of the park. I, I loved his, his entire seminar. And uh, he's presenting yeah, it again here again soon, I think, too. So He's great. Yeah. yeah that, was, that, was, that was a highlight, too. But I had to take my specific nugget of him telling and admitting that he learned something from me. <laughs> it's all about Vicky. <laughs> yes. Really so what's your number one? What's your number one? My number one? Well, God, now that with that intro, so yes, it's all about me. I had to just be honest. The, the highlight for me yeah. was being able to speak at this show. Cool. It is something that I have wanted to do since I walked into my very first seminar four years ago at my very first time attending a Las Vegas DJ show. And I sat there and said, I want to do this. This is, this is, I want to speak at this show. And it took me a while to get there. Mm -hmm. I had to ensconce myself in the community first. Yes, you did. And <laughs> Which was great. Yeah. But just being able to to be there and and having that confidence that I have something that I can share and that doesn't you know mean that I'm not going to learn but it just it felt really good to be able to say I set a goal and I worked really hard for 4 years to get there and I did it and and I'm not done no but, gosh no but that was just that was really cool to be able to say hey yeah I I accomplished what I had set out to do and I, I, now I'm setting new goals and different goals but I'm not gonna lie that was a high for me 
I can totally appreciate that. I it's kind of mm-hmm. how I, I remember feeling after my first mobile beat that I spoke mm-hmm. at it was kind of very similar. I made a goal to speak at mobile beat and I did it and yeah. I remember it was the second time I spoke at mobile beat looking down in the front row and having you and Jim Saron sitting there and it was just like this, Oh crap. Is this really happening? Kind of moment. We were napping, but really, uh. <laughs> yeah. Like you were at my seminar this time, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> I wasn't napping at your seminar this time. I know. <laughs> Somebody else was napping. I took a picture of that, but. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> the struggle is real, hashtag. <laughs> that wasn't during my seminar. No, it was not during your seminar. No, that wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was not. So that's our recap of the Las Vegas DJ show. Get him our certified advisor, Mitch Taylor. Certified personality trainer, Vicki Musney. And we have some upcoming events. We are going to be in Albany coming up in November. Come mm-hmm. see us November 2nd and 3rd. And 3rd. In Albany. It's actually Saratoga Springs, New York. I think it's just outside of Albany. But seriously. We fly in and out of Albany, so yeah, it's Albany yeah. in if our you, heads. If you're anywhere in the area, anywhere in the uh, you know New York, uh, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, that kind of area per se, or hell, coming from Canada, whatever. Uh, make it over, see us for that. Also on the Wedding and Event Professionals Cruise coming up November yep. 14th to the 21st. I can't wait for that. Come I cannot come soon enough. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, my wife was saying the same thing last night. She goes, I need a vacation. <laughs> the October events, are those sold out? The October skip, events. Oh my gosh. Well, they're not yeah. us together. I'm trying to not promote well, I'll myself. Be there. I'll yes. be there supporting. So uh, I'll, be, I'll be speaking at the Monterey Bay Wedding and Event Professionals coming up in California. And that's going to be October 12th, I believe, off the top of my head. Uh, no, October 13th, excuse me. October 13th is that and date. And then you're doing the Central Coast one and as well, Central correct? Coast on the next day on October 14th will be the times for that. So please come join us if you're anywhere in the California area. Feel free to yes, stop I'll by. be there too. I'm not presenting, but I'll be there to sign autographs of Mitch's book for you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Vicki will sign the one page she's in on the forward that she did. Uh, <laughs> and we'll have books available for sale for event pros as well. If you want more information, if you want the nuggets that Vicki talked about that she copied and pasted into our sales for event pros group, yes. please click the link. I'll put it down below here as well. And we want to hear your top five. If you were at the show, comment below. I want to hear from you. What were your, either the five things that you learned or those five top five experiential moments, but we want to hear from you. The five biggest sums of money you lost. No. (laughs) Your donation to the great state of Nevada. Yes. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. We're going back to lost wages again. (laughs) Coming up in March. The only reason I go to Vegas is to visit my money. Really? (laughs) That's... It's really sad, but that's a big portion of how our schools are funded right? here. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 wrong, but this. But what are you gonna do? This has been episode twenty-seven. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.